Okay, here we go. Green wire, you'll see the other end goes over towards the oxygen sensor. Black wire is going to the voltmeter, negative side of the battery. Follow it along. Here we are at the voltmeter. Black wire coming in. Green wire going down to my connection. Follow it down. Down and around. And if you notice down here, we're tapped in. The red wire goes to the voltmeter, the black wire goes to ground. That's the other end of the black wire you saw at the battery. We're tapped into the O2 sensor coming up through the floorboard. So it's now isolated by itself. It's got its own ground via the black wire. And we're measuring what should be O2 sensor output on the red lead. If we go back to the sensor, or sorry, we go back to the voltmeter, we're reading negative 0.074. If I rev it up, it never comes out of the negatives. If I feed it a little propane, all right, we're going to shove a little propane in this. An O2 sensor is an O2 sensor. It's got to work. Sensor picks up a little bit. See the negative's gone? Now we're into the positive. Hear the tone in the motor? That sensor is not responding. We should see nine tenths of a volt or better. Stay tuned. Next clip coming up. Now we're under the Toyota. I'm running the camera. Say hello to Danny. Smile, Danny. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Get ready, Teen Heartthrobs America. All right, so we're looking at our scan tool. See how we've got no reading on the downstream O2, which is where we're at? Push the button, Dan. We're now going to put a little propane in this exhaust leak. You have the valve open? Wait, we got to open the valve. This is, this, is, this is real TV stuff, folks. We're in the shop. See all of a sudden? Now we've got a reading. Whereas before we did. On and off. See the O2 sensor voltage cycle? That's going in through this little bit of a leak, which you can hear just that little bit of a leak, which it looks worse than it is, but it's enough of a leak Because there's no black around the area, you would think there would have been some tracings of carbon. And that's why this O2 sensor didn't read. Now, for the record, follow it back, I've got another O2 in this. I'm bypassed and I'm just in here temporarily. I've got the old O2 out, which is the same part number, but no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to work. So I have to believe that O2 is bad, where this O2 is not. So, 